thought we were past the hard stuff. I thought, I thought we were finally good. We were. We, we are. We're married. I know. We, God, we have a child. I know. How could you do this? I don't, I don't know. After all, all that's happened this year, everything we've been through, everything we survived, the bankruptcy, Mark, the plane. No, oh, you weren't on the plane, Callie. You weren't in the woods, and you did not hear Meredith crying for Lexi and Mark moaning in pain or hearing me scream in pain. You weren't there, and you keep acting like you were, but you weren't, and it wasn't your experience. I lost Mark. You almost died. I you lost Mark. You almost died. You weren't on that freaking plane! You won it. The street cried, the badge of honor, the warrior wounds, the great stick out your leg, and I will go grab a boat so I let even the score. Oh. Danielle, do you have a gun on you? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. This is, this is an exit wound. No entrance wound. Danielle, did you put a gun in your vagina? Dr. Luca is asking for all of my OB records. She says you're launching some kind of investigation. Oh, no, no, not, not an investigation, a study, a study. That's what I said. Well, I know, but you also called us. He felt a strap on, so, you know, sometimes I... Um, it's a study. It's a maternal mortality play date. Yeah, definitely. Okay. You want it? You want it? I hate marijuana. I know. I never had marijuana before. Oh, that's... Really? I've been drunk before, and I, I make poor choices, really embarrassing choices when I'm drunk, so I just need to be alone. No, 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 no. You have never been high before. You need to be with people who, who can help you and keep you safe. I don't, I don't think I need my neck anymore. How's your first day going? You ready to go back to Baghdad yet? I'm actually really impressed. The facility, the equipment, the caliber of the residents. Have you met Christina Yang yet? Mm. Christina Yang may, in fact, be the best resident I've ever seen. You think? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't think she likes me, but yeah. Ooh, shouldn't like you. Mark. No, you're probably right. Just because Yang drove off the last three cardio attendings she doesn't did mean not. Burke. Come on, there was Han. She didn't, had nothing to do with Han leaving. No, nope, that was me. <sighs> Dixon. Christina just needs a strong cardio attending, and she. Oh, he didn't tell you. Beth showed up at the hospital one day. She didn't even know he was. Ow. Did you just kick me? With me. Mm. So, wait, wait, sweet ass. No idea. Empirically Very. sexy. And the sex, I mean. First prize in the talent competition and the long jump, if you know how to <laughs> I did it with my entire life. One day, I chose to learn a little bit about my birth mother. Cut to, I live in her house with her daughter, and I work with the kind stranger who fathered me, and I left behind an entire life and family that no longer exists. My parents are divorced. My childhood home is sold. My mother is in Hawaii making soups now. I, I have no home. It's like I, I flew to this planet on an exploratory mission, and the Earth blew up behind me. And I can't go back. And now I'm here with you, aliens. Except I'm an alien. And I'm all alone. And I have nothing and no one wants me. <clears throat> you got us. We want you. I can't have sex with you. No. You're a Cylon. This is Galactica. I really do like her. She makes me not the crazy sister. What do you think they're paying her? <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, we are postponing the remainder of today's presentation. Please raise your hand if you ate any cookies from this tin.
Unfortunately, the cookies in this tin were tainted with rat poison. <gasps> so we need to treat those of you who have ingested them. As soon as possible, please. Now I'm going to save you. Do you want to be saved or don't you? This boycott has gone on long enough. Now, okay, I have no authority here, but I would like to offer my thoughts on Dr. Sloan. You're doing great. Uh, this man is a whore. Has always been a whore. Will probably always be a whore. But, I mean, that's not a secret. He's not keeping it hidden. You all, he's nasty. And, and that's not... So let us all close our knees and get back to our job so he can get back to his job and help the people that really need it. Today, I would like us to talk because I care and I uh, want to know things and I, I, I have 15 minutes to hear about your feelings. So, <clears throat> Alex. Alex, you look thoughtful. I'm very interested to hear, I mean, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, is he, are your thoughts, your feelings? Honestly? Uh-huh. I'm a little worried about my friend Alex here because his Jane Doe girlfriend keeps showing up like something out of Fatal Attraction. Her name is Rebecca Pope and she's not my girlfriend. Really? You guys haven't had sex at all recently? She's married, okay? She has a husband. Well, does it hurt that you, she's married? I mean, does that hurt your, your heart? What's the matter with you? I'm trying to talk girl. Well, Petri dishes and Christina, who has to practice talking like a human being. I actually care about patient care. I need the sparkle page. He's not giving you the sparkle. Page. Well, you know what? I can't talk girl, and I shouldn't have to talk girl because I diagnose the patient. I need the page. You can't have the new no patient. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Um, anyone, uh, anyone ever think you two are uh, a couple? No, because we screw boys like whores on tequila. And then we either try to marry them or drown ourselves. Huh. No, um, Mekon, let me scrub in, or I'm making you move out. What? Desperate times. Okay, false alarm. The cookies had marijuana in them. What? Yes. I didn't want to scare you. So you went with rat poison. You scared me to death. What? You knew they had weed in them. Right. Yeah, I, I forgot. Okay, so listen. No one goes anywhere until you're sober. Ingesting marijuana has a much stronger effect, and it lasts much longer than when you smoke it. True story. So, we can uh, send some No, orders. you're not going to send anything. Give your phone to Joe. Wait, you're taking our phones? Everyone, give your phones to Wilson. She will handle your patients, your post-ops, and your charts. So you're going to do all of our work? Yes, she's going to reassess and rearrange. It's going to be great. You're so pretty. You look like a cartoon. Okay. You should look into it. Phones. Jackson, now. Everybody stay here. Right. Let's go. Andrew, are you in there? Andrew? Who are you talking about? Hey, Andrew. Pierce, oh God, Andrew, P Pierce! Pierce! Hey, Pierce, stop, stop! Did Dr. Gray's insubordinate behavior almost cost her her daughter's adoption, Dr. Karev? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't see how her family life is relevant here. But she seems to be fairly cavalier about the law in both her professional and personal life, so I'd say it's relevant. In fact, she used her youngest daughter's identity to commit insurance fraud. Alan so. Brown, Farah Al-Azari, Deborah Green, and Sam Carter. Dr. Gray, we have your list of patient testimonies here. You don't need to repeat them. Those are the names of the spouses of every patient I've ever lost. I remember every single one of them. OK. Um, thank you for that. You don't get to sit up there and ask questions about my daughter. If you want to take my license and make sure I never see another patient again, then you do that. But you have absolutely no right to ever mention my daughter's name because you are the one who killed her father. You don't remember me. Meredith. But I remember you. As the coward who stood over my dying husband. You're gonna be fine the love of my life, and you didn't even attempt to do burr holes after he failed to get him a head CT. Burr holes! We don't have time for a CT. I was doing burr holes as an intern. That one night should have cost you your entire career. But instead, you're sitting up here judging me? You don't deserve to judge anyone. Your Honor, if we could um, just take a short recess to evaluate the situation and see if Dr. Gray's 
conflict of interest is uh... my conflict of interest my medical license should not be in this man's hands okay, come he on. is dangerous okay, come on let's <gasps> in five minutes. Don't you wear panties? No way, she likes to breathe. Please tell me your naked butt is not on the seat of my brand new car. Are you done looking or are you? Amelia, gonna... my children sit back there. You only have a problem if they lick the seats. Do they lick the seats? She did not just say that. Just start the car, hey, Shaw. Lady Chief Trifecta. Way to go. House of Lady Chiefs. Sister Lady Chiefs. What a broad. Oh, what was that? Hmm? So, do you want to do charts later? Never gonna happen. What? Alex, I gave you your chance. You had your chance, and you slept with someone else. I forgave you in the spirit of being a bigger person, of rising above. These legs are closed to you now. The panties are staying on. <laughs> so, you and me? Never gonna happen. So, you don't want to do charts later? Go stand over there. Can we get back to the point? You had a point? Yeah. Which surgeon are we gonna have to suck up to today? That would be me. Dr. Bailey? I've been gone two weeks, two weeks, and you ran off two residents? I've got people phoning me at home, screaming, telling me my interns are Rosemary's babies. Nobody wants you. Do you think I have time for this? I am pregnant. I'm supposed to be... You're back. I'm not back. You're not? Get off me. Hit is Yang, Karev, Gray, stay here and wait for the incoming case. O'Malley, Paige, Addison, Shepard, Stevens, get a wheelchair. A wheelchair? A wheelchair. What should I tell Dr. Montgomery Shepard? What did I say? Dr. Bailey? What? And I won't hesitate. The time is now. What do you tell me? Just because you can't touch doesn't mean you can't enjoy. That we later wish we had. <laughs> Mama. Daddy. Oh my breast. Oh, Daddy. Is this a new service the hospital is providing? I told you to guard the door. I had a code blue. I had parents walk in. We saved the guy's life. Yeah, whatever. You know, I want my 20 bucks back. Sorry. Bought every one coffee to celebrate saving the guy's life. Yeah, I want my 20 bucks back. It's not Tyler's fault you're a dirty, dirty stripper. I'm hard. Everyone heard. Stripper. Do you have time to round? Are you too busy getting naked on hospital property? No, it wasn't naked. I, 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 I wasn't naked. O'Malley, Yang. I'm proud of you all. You make me proud. You reflect on me well. Gray, if you think you can keep your clothes on long enough to follow up the labs, I'd appreciate it. Karev, cover the pit. The pit? I'm off guy. Dr. Montgomery Shepherd is out sick. You can cover the pit or you can You can tell me whose damn panties are on the bulletin board. <laughs> this is a hospital, people. Serious work happens here. We save lives here. <laughs> oh, something funny? Oh. Whose are these? <laughs> This is bad. This isn't good. Hey, you better claim them. She thinks they're mine. Claim them. No. Yeah, I know it's one of you. It's always one of mine. Always. So, tell me. Which one of you left your damn drawers on my surgical floor? Reputation <laughs> surgery. Karev Pitt Gray Charts. All four of you do not make me regret sitting loose in this hospital, O'Malley. What do I mean by that? You mean check with you before we cut any wires or steal any hearts. Are you trying to be clever? No, ma'am. Better not be. Holy crap. Nazi's definitely back. Louder than ever. Oh, Mrs. Burke. Hi, I'm Christina. I I, I may have said that earlier, but Did I, was... I hear you refer to Miranda Bailey as a Nazi? What? Oh, no. Oh, uh, I mean, yes, You but do it... understand that the Nazis were responsible for the worst genocide in the history of man. And a racist genocide at that. I would think that as a woman of color and as a doctor, no less, that you would think twice before using that word as a punchline. 
I'll think about that in the future, Mrs. Burke. Mrs. Burke? Mm -hmm. Preston's mother. Yeah. Yes. Huh. And you are? Derek Shepard. I'm the surgeon who operated on your son. Oh, thank you. Brilliant surgeon. And a handsome man, too. Mm -hmm. Your mother must be very proud. Do you mind, Dr. Shepard, if I borrow your young intern for a quick cup of coffee? I'll bring her right back. Oh, no problem. Dr. Gray can cover for Christina. I'm sorry? Uh, uh, Dr. Gray is very busy. She has charts to do for Bailey. Bailey's on the warpath. Well, uh, not the German warpath. It's a hospital warpath. It's... I'll take care of Bailey, okay? Enjoy.